this one is broken too. Hello, your majesty. Well, Prince Charming, a welcome home. Uh, Zoloft didn't announce that you were also here with Princess Cinderella. And now announcing Prince Charming. It's good to be home. So, how do you like being a married man? Actually, I was hoping to talk to you about that, sire. Sure. Is something wrong? No! Nothing is wrong exactly. It's just... I'm not sure that I'm being a good husband to Cinderella. What's going on? Well, when I was growing up, my mother ran the home. And my father let her because it was much easier that way. Oh. And, and he would sit around all day watching the archery tournaments. And when she wanted something done, she would tell him. And then he would delegate it to some nearby servant. I see. And, well, your majesty, <laughs> I've been reading in the word on how to be a godly husband. And it's nothing like that at all. I'm supposed to be the head of my castle. That's true. <laughs> your majesty, it's just that I'm not sure I know how to do that. Cinderella is so needy and exhausting. <laughs> it would be much easier to be like my father and let her have her own way. But uh, would that be the best thing uh, for Princess Cinderella? Definitely not. The word says she was created to be equal to me in worth, but subordinate in leadership. Your Highness, when you were first married to Queen Rosip, did you have these kind of problems? Oh, yes. Uh, the Queen had quite a temper back then and tried to usurp authority every chance she got. <laughs> But, Your Highness, Cinderella is nothing like that. She is kind and gentle. She could never hurt anyone. No one is saying anything different. Uh, many women are smarter and more capable than men and well able to do whatever they put their minds to. Then why is it our job to be the head? Uh, that's how God set it up. I didn't write the book. All I know is that if you want a happy home and you want true peace, you'll do things God's way according to his word. I do want that. Uh, then you're going to have to man up and put your flesh under that wants to abdicate its position. One last question, your majesty. Do the wives mind having to submit? Uh, let me put it to you this way. Would you find it easy to submit to you? Uh, definitely not. Well, it is a high calling that the Lord has put on them to emulate the example that he himself set in submitting to authority. When you do things God's way, he gives you the grace to pull it off. Wow! Ella deserves a lot of respect for being able to lay down her life and her opinions for me. I've been so selfish, Your Majesty. But women, they're so exhausting! I know that's true. You know... <laughs> All these paddles are, are defective. Your Majesty, it's all in the wrist. Yes, Princess. Mira, how do I 
know who the right man is for me. Well, I thought it was Prince Charming for so long. Then he married somebody else, and I don't know what to do. Hmm, quite a quandary indeed. Why well, can't I just fall in love and marry whoever I want? Perhaps if you took a leap of faith, you would find that the emotions to love come after the choice to love is there. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Well, aren't I, aren't I supposed to feel an attraction to somebody first? You felt an attraction to Prince Charming, and he wasn't the one for you. Sounds like you can't trust your feelings. Oh, well, I suppose I can't. True biblical love will produce feelings when the time is right. Until then, guard your heart, princess. Guard my heart? But if I guard my heart... How am I supposed to follow it? You gave it away prematurely to Prince Charming, and it got broken. Don't invest your heart in love and anyone else until you've made a covenant with them. But I really thought he was the one. While you were so distracted by your emotions, the one father has for you is still out there, and you could have been spending time with them. Why don't you talk to your father about this? Well, I, I think you're right. You've given me a lot to think about. Princess Snoopy, God's way is always best. That's an ant here, right? Yep, it's go time. <laughs> well, okay then. Hey, check out my Dual Gladiator 5000 series Nerf Rock, you guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you two. Could you stop doing that, please? All right, let's get this game going. My favorite show comes on tonight. All right, fine. Let's... Why, hello. Is everyone ready for the game? Yes, I think so. This is just like that level in Medieval Warfare 2 where you slay the orc under the bridge. Take that. <laughs> Guys, no, hold up, hold up. Where's Prince Charming and Cinderella? Aren't they coming today? Oh, no. They're at home having family time. That's so lame. Everyone always says they want to get married because two is stronger than one in the kingdom, but then you never see them again. <laughs> well... You know what they say, um... <laughs> one, one puts a thousand to flight and two goes home early to watch TV. And what's wrong with family time? Crum could use some family time of his own. <laughs> yeah, but when you marry someone, you're not supposed to rip them out of the body of Christ and possess them to yourself. <laughs> Two are supposed to be stronger than one. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, because four plus one equals two. <laughs> Marriage is supposed to build up the church, not the individual. Yeah, well, I don't have to be friends with Cinderella anymore now that she's off the market anyways. <laughs> I was just hanging around her in case we got married. <laughs> So, now that Cinderella is married, you don't care about her soul anymore? Wait, well, I didn't say that. Sure you did, because you are a selfish monster. Well, I didn't mean it like that. Well, not exactly. Well, I, for one, would like to stop losing all my friends to husbands. It's like every time one of my girls gets married, I have to go find all my friends. No, no, I, I think you're kind of cool. Aw, thank you, Cosmo. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh! <laughs> Don't worry about it, Snow. Soon, you're going to be married and leave us all in the dust just so that you can have family time. Well, I sure hope not. What good is marriage instead of doubling strength to the body that subtracts it? Oh, math is so hard. <laughs> Didn't 
you hear? They got engaged this afternoon. <laughs> someone like you. Guys, why are you so pressed on getting married? Enjoy your freedom. It's, it's not good for man to be alone and already get to do so much for the kingdom. I bet I could do so much more if I had a godly wife to help me. Grunk wants a hot wife. Dude, it's help me, not play me. Look, a godly wife, a godly wife can be hot too. It's not the point. I, I think Snow's kind of pretty. Oh, but she's so old. What are you talking about? <laughs> she's the same age as you. But all the newer models are out oh. now. Well, guys, a wife can make you food and wait on you hand and foot. I don't think... That, give, being married is about taking responsibility for another soul. It's about... <sighs> Promising to edify her and making her more like Christ. Uh, okay. <laughs> but giving up all of your running around, your singleness, and preferring yourself, and investing in something longer lasting than your momentary pleasure and gain. Yeah, that's why I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you're selfish. What a wife. Any wife. <laughs> 